All right, guys, so let's look at this simple question here. Solve for x in the triangle below. So this triangle is given. First thing we need to check is what kind of triangle is this? From our observation, we can see that this is a right angle triangle because one of its angles is 90 degrees, okay? So since it is a right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is used to solve for one unknown side of a triangle when two sides are given. Not for every triangle, but for right angle triangle. So Pythagoras theorem, the formula is C square is equal to A square plus B square, where C is the hypotenuse, which is this side. Okay, so that means in this question, we are looking for C. We are looking for the hypotenuse. So replacing C with X, we have X square is equal to, if we call it as A, we have 8 square plus 6 square. So X square is equal to 8 square is 64 plus 6 square is 36 x square is equal to 64 plus 36 is going to give you 100 so x square is equal to 100 but are we looking for x square no we are looking for x so we have to look for a way to cancel out square the opposite of square is square root so we introduce square root to both sides of the equation so that we can be able to cancel out square okay so we have square root of x square is equal to square root of 100. When we do that, square root is going to cancel out square to give you x. For example, if you have something like this, two square, square root of two square. Two square is four, and square root of four is two. So at the end of the day, these two have canceled out. So you have two left. The same thing happened here. Square root cancels out square. You have x left okay so square root of 100 is 10 square root means what will multiply itself to give you that number right so 10 times 10 will give you 100 so square root of 100 is equal to 10 this means that x is equal to 10 this becomes the answer if you like this video share with your friends like the video and follow for more thanks for watching bye